Welcome to the CB7ID briefing for new recruits. The officers of CB7ID are responsible for all CB7ID members, chip movement, diplomacy, team speak, battle plans, and battle command. Seek out and communicate with these officers for any issues, questions, or concerns that you may have. CB7ID has some simple rules regarding clan wars that will make it much simpler for you and everyone involved to have fun. The first and most important rule when you get into a new clan wars battle is do not touch the roster. Choosing the tanks and players is the sole responsibility of the battle commander. Again, don't mess with the roster. Only the battle commander should be clicking buttons in the clan wars window. You as a tanker are primarily concerned with making sure your tank is prepared and ready to go. This involves more than just pushing the ready button. This means that you have the correct equipment mounted on your tank, a full loadout of gold ammunition, Finally, proper battle comms are required in order to facilitate command and control of the battle. Battle comms refers to the method in which information is passed between members of a clan during a battle situation. The first thing to remember is that the battle commander has absolute priority while talking. If you do need to interrupt, interject with question or one thing and wait for the commander to recognize you before you continue. During battle, there will often be times where multiple command nets will be talking at the same time. You will need to listen carefully to determine which applies to you. A squad or platoon commander will be designated to command a small portion of the battle, and that person will often be calling out orders that only apply to a few tankers in that battle. Initially, it will be very difficult for you to recognize your platoon leader's voice from the confusion, but that recognition will occur naturally over time. The most important rule to remember is to keep it short and simple. We don't need a detailed rundown of what happened. Save that for the after action report. When in doubt, just stay silent. If there is a vital piece of information that is needed, someone will ask for it. Voice comms are not the only option to draw attention to an issue or to ask a question. The in-game text chat is very useful for small questions that can be answered by other clan members without needing to clutter voice comms. During a game, the various emotes and indicating your target with the T button are encouraged. Squad and platoon leaders will often use the T target button to indicate a target for platoon focused fire. Using a push to talk button rather than the voice activation feature in TeamSpeak is also a requirement. Voice activation has the tendency to activate at very inopportune moments. Furthermore, it will often be activated by ambient noises, such as a fan, or accidental noises, such as a cough. These are very annoying most of the time, and highly disruptive during battle. If you are asked multiple times to use push to talk instead of voice activation, and you do not comply, you will be removed from the TeamSpeak channel and excluded from battles. All new members will be required to participate in at least two training sessions, and we encourage all members to attend as many training sessions as possible. You may or may not be familiar with the maneuvers, techniques, and tactics being presented in these training sessions, but by working on these things with fellow clan members, everyone will learn to execute these things in the same way. In the long run, this will allow us to function better as a team and as a clan. Training videos and sessions will focus on the topics listed below. It is our goal to provide the best gaming experience for those entering Clan Wars battles nightly. With your help, we can and will fulfill that goal. Welcome to CB7ID.